Foodlandia is sponsored by New Pioneer Co-op, keeping it real since 1971. Hi, my name is Jacob Engelsman and welcome to Foodlandia. Today we are going to be making homemade bread and homemade cheese and I realize both of these things can sound very daunting but these two recipes are great starter recipes and both very simple. For the cheese we're just going to start out with half a gallon of milk. Throw that on the stove and get it up to about 100 degrees, which is warm. Not very hot, stick your finger in it. It hurts after a little while, but not immediately. Ouch. Or you can use a thermometer. So now the only other ingredient for this cheese is a quarter of a cup of lemon juice per half gallon of milk, and that's gonna be about two lemons. Now if you wanna get a lot of juice out of your lemon. Roll it around a little bit first. Trust me. Now the reason we're using lemon juice here is just because it's an acid and that's gonna help the milk separate. If you're feeling crazy, you <coughs> can use other things like orange juice or grapefruit juice or citric acid. Now that two lemons is just more than a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna use a little bit less than that, but we're not gonna put that in until the milk is hot. So now that we're up to temperature, we're just gonna go ahead and pour some lemon juice right in there, give it a quick stir, turn the heat off, Put a lid on it and check on it in about 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes have elapsed and you can see we have a good separation of whey from curds. It looks admittedly unappetizing, but that is definitely how it's supposed to look. And so now what we're gonna do is strain out all the way. And the way we do that is by putting the colander in the bowl. And then we're gonna put some muslin over it. Now, you may have also heard of cheesecloth, which you can use. And you should probably start out with, you can get that at most grocery stores. The advantage to muslin is you can wash it and reuse it. Whereas cheesecloth, if you try to wash it, unless it's a really high quality cheesecloth, which if you buy it at the grocery store, it's not, it's just gonna fall apart. So if you plan on doing this more than a few times, Go to a fabric store, any fabric store will have muslin. Make sure you get one you can see through. Okay, and then we're gonna pour this in here. And then you're gonna have to find something from which to hang it. You're gonna wanna find this first, in fact. And if your cabinet has knobs, that will be, that'll probably work. You're gonna have to check with your own cabinet and whatnot, of course. But what I had to do is get my trusty meat hook and hang it from a cabinet shelf. And then I will hang it up from there. And we're gonna let that drain. 
So now we've had this cheese sitting for a while and you can really let it drain or let it hang for as long as you want. You can let it go overnight and you'll end up with something more thick and spreadable or and sliceable, I'm sorry. Right now we just want a spreadable cheese to put on some bread. So I'm just gonna put this here in a bowl and I've got some minced up sun-dried tomatoes. That's about a tablespoon there. And just a little pinch of salt. And no matter what you do with your cheese, you wanna add some salt at the end. It'll just bring out any flavor you put in there better. And just remember, it's a lot easier to put salt in than it is to take salt out. So there we go, and you can put anything in there, any, any dried herbs or fresh herbs, uh, minced up anchovies or garlic or roasted garlic, that would be particularly good. Yeah, really anything you want. <laughs>